going on guys? It is Kyle and Anastas back with Subtle Cinematics and today we are doing another behind the scenes video. Today we are shooting a commercial with Porsche. So for those of you guys who don't know a lot about his story, he started with filming car videos seven or eight years ago. And today we are finally shooting a car commercial for a big brand. Yeah. How does it feel? Unreal, man. I started shooting with a GoPro Hero 3 and a Canon T3i, literally just shooting car videos for fun. Um, car videos are totally my roots, so, um, you know, I've always wanted to film a car brand as big as Porsche. So this is just like a dream come true, honestly, for me. So this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a really fun day. As you guys can see, we got the Porsche Taycan here. So it's the all electric. Porsche, it is super, super dope. The concept is gonna have our two subjects starting in an urban location, taking the vehicle for a day trip out to Northern Saskatchewan to get outside of the city. We're gonna take it up north and capture a lot of cool rollers, some really cool drone shots. And we're gonna show you guys how to shoot a commercial for a luxury brand such as Porsche. I want to give you guys a quick tip when you are filming commercials for big name brands or just really any brand in general is to pay attention to how you're framing things up. It's important that you don't include the name of this hotel or the name of a different car beside our car in this commercial. You can't use those shots in post. The client will end up giving you the X on that shot. So it's important to pay attention to what's in frame when you are filming commercial work. All right, so beside me we have Barry, as you guys have probably seen on the channel, on the lives, as well as his beautiful wife B. They are going to be playing our subjects in our commercial today. So we're going to start with the two of them basically approaching the vehicle. We really want to highlight that they are in an urban area and that the contrast of leaving the urban area to the wilderness is the purpose of this commercial. So we're going to get to those shots right now. Everyone has their role on our team. Everyone has their role. Here's Matt's. Here's a little film hack for you guys when you're shooting cars, okay? Spray it lightly. Take this little cotton thing, a little, little wipe, give it a little wipe down. Okay? There you go. Film hack 101. The gear that we're using for these shots, and honestly for majority of this video, is going to be the DJI Ronin M. We'll be using the Lumix S1, the Sigma 35mm 1.4, uh, we've got an ND filter, polarizer stacked on there, and then the Atomo Shogun 7 monitor. So basically, I'm just getting as many shots as possible. So I'm gonna get a shot of Barry and B walking together from like three or four different angles. We're getting a shot of just their feet walking up to the car, and you can see the Taycan in the background. I'm also gonna get a shot of um, just a side profile shot of them walking, a uh, front shot, and then another rear shot that's a little higher up. After that, I'm gonna be getting a bunch of different shots of Barry and B sitting down the car, so opening up the door, sitting down. One tip for this is just opening up the driver's side door and the passenger side door, have each subject sit down in the car, and you can get a really nice looking clean shot of a Barry NV sitting inside of the Taycan. All right guys, so filming in 4K24, what we're gonna be doing is getting to the headlight level of the car. So you don't wanna be too high up, you don't wanna be too low, just at headlight level. And what I'm gonna be doing is two hands on the grips, and I'm shooting in 24 FPS, and I'm rolling from toe to heel, and I'm getting a really slow panning shot. These don't have to be too quick, because you can't slow these down in 24. So I'm gonna pan once, and then I'm gonna pan back again just to make sure that I have the shot. Okay. All right, so the next shot that I'm gonna capture is I'm basically same thing, but instead of moving left to right, I'm gonna actually pan the camera up. I'm gonna take two small steps forward 
and then start panning the camera down. So like a lot of people, they'll pan down and then start walking. I like to get a bit of a running head start. So I start looking up, you can see like the glass on the building. I take two small steps and then I start rolling down. Now I'm gonna start moving on to the more detailed shots. So I'm gonna be pretty much shooting like the leading lines of the car and like the flow of the car. So a lot of shots like running down the hood, the back quarter panel, um, panning shots of the wheels, panning shots of the brake calipers, as well as panning shots of the emblems on the Porsche. A quick tip for the detailed shots too, I know everybody wants to film in 24 FPS for all their stuff to keep it nice and cinematic. However, when you're shooting the detailed stuff, it's really difficult to keep a really punched in detailed shot with a low aperture. Um, really smooth so it is totally fine to switch to 60 fps and slow mo these clips up to 40 percent it's important for you guys to review your footage before you leave the scene so for a production like this where we are capturing a bunch of different variety of shots one time in this location we just went through and reviewed all of the footage to make sure all of the shots were good we ended up actually catching a shot that had a logo from a different brand in it so we recognize that we can't use that shot, so we gotta basically reset and reshoot that shot. So it's really important for you guys to review your footage on set before leaving to shoot location number two. One other thing, keep it rolling. So the shot of Barry getting into the front pass or the front driver's seat, there was a car in the background, and you could see the car in the background, and that car just left. So we're gonna capture that shot really quickly right now before somebody parks there. So the final shots that we have here are the Taycan driving off and these are going to transition into our rolling shots. So I'm going to be nice slow like this, slightly pointing the gimbal upwards and I'm just going to be slowly panning. When Barry starts driving the car past me, I'm going to actually walk towards the car and let him drive right past me. So I'm going to kind of quickly walk past the car so it makes the car look like it's moving a lot faster than it really is. Just so we can get like a really nice transition swipe to the rolling shots. I think. Dude, Next. you look like a giant right there. Do I? <laughs> well, that's just because you're so short. <laughs> no, dude, you look way down there, Dyson. <laughs> huh? My POV? <laughs> uh, we're just chilling on set right now. Uh, getting some cool shots. Uh, right now we have really good diffusion, so I probably look really sexy. No big deal, it's just the genetics, but yeah. As you can see, our environment has changed. We are now up north in Saskatchewan. We just entered PA National Park. Anastas is getting set up to capture some of the rollers. Uh, the other guys are actually cleaning off all the bug splatters from driving all the way up here. It's gonna be a pretty exciting now that we're in a beautiful location. I'll let Anastas talk about the... <laughs> you, you need a five minute timeout after that one. That's a nice dress like you got on. That's the thumbnail. My favorite part of car videos. We're gonna be capturing some rolling shots of the uh, Porsche now. So right now I'm setting up the DJI Ronin M with the 35 millimeter, and then we're gonna swap over to the 11 to 20 millimeter Tokina lens so we can get some wide angle shots. The rolling shots where I'm gonna be at the headlight level with the 35 mil, and then I'm gonna get some where I'm actually panning from like up top and then I'm slowly panning down while we're rolling so you can get kind of like this really cool gimbal effect and then after that when we do the rolling shots with the wide angle that's when I'm gonna be holding the top handle of the gimbal and leaning over so I can get a really really low shot looking up at the car driving uh, I just really like those wide angle shots honestly I don't really like wide angle shots unless they're super low to the ground and looking up at the car it just puts a really nice spotlight on the car while it's rolling in terms of safety we'll show you guys how we set everything up but I'm gonna be wearing a safety harness and I'm gonna be ratchet strapped off to the truck bed so um, you know we're just trying to play it as safe as possible when doing the rolling shots so I'll actually have a walkie-talkie that's zip tied to my harness so I'll be able to actually communicate with Barry I can tell him to slow down speed up um, trail behind so on and so forth 
As you can see, Steeny is still ancient as hell and he's using the Ronin M. We try to get him on the RS2 train, but he just can't kick old habits, you know? It's something something about the, the Ronin M that he really loves. If you guys are finding value from this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to like this video. We'd greatly appreciate that. Check us out on TikTok as well while you're at it. All right, okay, yeah, that's up close and very personal. All right, guys, so I'm all strapped in here. Got my harness, got a ratchet strap here as well, so it's looped behind my harness. And then I have my comm right here so I can talk to everybody on the team. Kyle's gonna be driving the truck. Matt will be keeping a lookout down the street, a ways about a away, about, away, yeah, about a kilometer away. And then Barry will also have a comm, which he will be in the Porsche with. So we're gonna have the tailgate up. I don't really feel comfortable sitting in the truck bed with the tailgate down, but we're still um, strapped in here. So I'm gonna be able to still lean over a decent amount to get the gimbal outside of the truck. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Like I'm securely fastened in here, nice and safe. Getting some fake BTS right now. Oh, there's a spider inside. Bro, your guns are huge right now. All right, Barry, you can come a little closer. Dyson, can you please hide your little body? So me and Stitch just got left out in the wild. They dropped us off. They said, here, you guys have to defend for yourselves and try to survive. So me and Stitch came up with a little game plan. Um, we have lots of nice forest over here. We're gonna try to cut down a branch and build ourselves a little shelter for the night and then enjoy the cinematic B-roll. I'm still lost. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna try to find some shelter now. kind of tight on my chest. I'm not sure if my chest has grown or this harness got a little smaller lately, but cheers! So next shots that we have are the flyby shots. So I have the Canon 7200 with an ND filter on the Lumix S1 and we're just posted up on the side of the road. I'm gonna be grabbing some where I'm super low to the ground and I'm watching the car just like roll right past us really fast and then I'm getting some where I'm gonna be in the bushes and we're gonna see the Taycan just rip right past us. So um, these are really good quick B-roll shots to just supplement into the rolling shots. So it's not just all stable rolling shots. We wanna also toss in these types of shots like the flyby shots just to mix it up a little bit and add some more intensity to our video. Almost fell over, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 7200 just took me away. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna be grabbing some audio clips of the Tycon. So how we're gonna achieve these audio clips is we're actually gonna use a wireless Rode lav mic. So I have the transmitter plugged into my Zoom H4 recorder. So it's, it's an external recorder and I can plug my noise canceling Bose headphones into the recorder so I can actually control the audio levels. So I have the receiver right here. It's sitting in the trunk of the car. It's turned on, connected to the transmitter and I taped it down with some um, with some painter's tape onto here just so it doesn't leave any sticky residue or anything It's a little tip if you're getting audio. You don't want any residue on anything, especially a really expensive car like this I ran the cord um, Left some slack right here. I like to keep some slack for when the trunk does close that it doesn't you know Tighten up or anything. So I leave some slack right here again No tape on the paint of course or on any of the um, uh, the panels here and then I took duct tape and a duct tape to the license plate the lav mic right there so why i put it on the license plate is because one we don't leave any residue on any of the body panels and two there's no wind noise right here so you can capture just pure audio now the tycon is a very 
different car in a sense that it's electric so I don't exactly know where the audio is coming from and I tried researching it and there was no real clear answer so we're gonna try it out where um, we're capturing it like we would for a normal gas or diesel powered car we're gonna place it right here where normally exhaust pipes would be right here and you can capture the audio so we're gonna try it out I'm gonna be able to listen and monitor the um, sound coming off of this lav mic from inside the cabin if that doesn't work out then I believe most of the audio does come from inside of the cabin, just with the technology that Porsche has brought into the Taycan electric car. So we're gonna try this out first, and then we're gonna try some cabin audio. So this is the spot for our final shot. Sunset's gonna come down right here, perfect in line, right in the bench there. So this is what it looks like right now. We're an hour and a half away from our actual shoot time. Final shot of the day, we had to wait till sunset. So basically the Taycan is gonna pull up, Barry and B, our two subjects, are gonna walk out of the car and they're gonna sit on the bench which overlooks the lake and the beautiful sunset. Shooting in 4K, 24, simple push-in shot for the car pulling up, and then I'll probably cut it there and get a separate shot of Barry and B sitting down on the, um, on the bench. One more time, you're so Too tall, fast. bro. Am I tall? <laughs> Welcome back to day two. So today we have just the drone shots remaining. Got everything set up. So we're gonna start with the FPV drone. So I'm gonna get Barry basically driving up and down this section of highway. We chose a pretty much a straightaway just to get some really cool follow cams and try to provide some different angles that really we couldn't accomplish with rollers and hanging out of a vehicle. So we're starting with the FPV. We're gonna switch over and capture some shots using the Mavic Air 2. Air 2 basically following Barry and B in the Porsche and if you can see this way there is kind of it starts to go uphill and then right after that it's a very steep drop off but in the background there's a lot of really nice lakes so this shot is really just going to be exposing more of the scenery to show the audience you know where we are. I'm gonna pass you. Yep perfect. Go up a little bit. Up a little bit. Holy shit. So that brings us to the end of our shoot with Porsche. I think it went really, really smooth. Yeah, super smooth. Like all the shots that we captured were just 
absolute bangers our locations were amazing whole crew was unreal to work on set with and yeah I, i'm really excited for this video this is definitely going to be the best car video that i've ever been a part of super super excited our pre-production was really on point with this video um we took probably i don't know four to six hours in pre-production yeah. creating the storyboard so this is the storyboard that we sent them this had to be signed off by the national brand as well as porsche center saskatchewan again you guys have heard us talk about taking an opportunity and over delivering for a client to build that long-term relationship and we did this for this shoot specifically. We ended up taking some extra time to capture rollers, some photos, some still photos, which the client didn't pay for, didn't ask for, but we're going to over deliver and deliver those, as well as some cool behind the scenes, split screens and more short form content. So any opportunity that you can over deliver, it's worth the time and effort because it's gonna benefit you and your relationship in the long run. All right guys, so thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more filmmaking tips, tricks, behind the scenes, blogs, and more. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.